Good evening and warm welcome to State of Business, Saat TV's prime time news bulletin with me, Rukshi Panditaratna. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Former President holds press conference and BOI signs letter of intent on industrial park. And today on Top Stories, former President Mahinda Rajapaksha says he would restore relief to all citizens, including war heroes, which have been cut off by the present government. He made these statements addressing the media in Colombo today. <laughs> Me Mun Amadam Nayabara 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 Kela Murwata Luku Bilik Mahapano. Mama Baragan put a Mahabarak the Mighty Vantos because he gana. Eka Adukarala Hattava does not look at a girl, other men would take Asuai that's not to look at Apo Vedical. The Navy the top to get the Nayakala the enemy. The Mam Varadila Vara and Tunatara Kadala di Munana, me and the Gizkara the Rack name at a Gregania. Then I wake up Piguno. Rati, Sulu Sampa Pigula, Tamai, make a tear, Mirata Palnegrana, Mirati, Mativaratiane, Yala Dano Pratipale Moka de Gila, Murata Dama, Api, Sampuna San, Apapusan, Apia Paula Badin. A joint letter of intent was signed between the Board of Investment Sri Lanka and Rojana Industrial Park Public Company Limited from Thailand today. Speaking at the event, State Minister of International Trade Sujiva Senasinghe said that this project will create greater opportunities for foreign direct investments. The letter of intent was signed by the Board of Investments Chairman Duminda Ratnayaka and Direk Winichpat, President of Rojana Industrial Park. The letter of intent preludes a formal agreement between the parties to allow Rojana Industrial Park to build, manage and promote the zone. We are hoping to get it up and running by next December, the Industrial Park. The Hambantut also, they are working parallel with us. So this is in Kalutara. So we are hoping to fast track this uh, process. Normally it takes about five years for, for us to get all the permission for the infrastructure. So this is going to be a very ambitious project. About 500 million would be invested first first phase. It depends on the, uh, the infrastructure. We only discuss on the first two phases, the 250 and the 150. We haven't worked on it. Uh, we are working on it. We haven't got the conclusion yet. They want a power plant also. Uh, the more we give, the more investment will come. But the power plants also, we have certain uh, physical problems now. The LNG lines are not laid yet. Whether it's solar, whether it's LNG. We expected these companies to come to Sri Lanka and now you can see the interest is there an initiative they have taken. A lot of other companies and countries will also follow. The Government Medical Officers Association today urged authorities to allow the CITAM issue to be discussed at Parliament and provide a reasonable and clear solution. Addressing the media today, GMOS Secretary Dr. Harita Aludge said they have issued a letter to all parliamentarians regarding several concerns that need to be addressed. Today we have addressed a letter to uh, all the honourable uh, parliamentarians uh, regarding the CITAM issue. We have uh, declared several points, for example, uh, the, the activities of Health Minister, Minister Rajit Sena Ratna, in uh, violating the accepted norms and also going against the government stand, which was declared on 7th of April, which clearly stated that uh, the government is going to withhold the uh, recruitment of students and also the degree awarded by CITAM is not recognized by the government. And all these conditions are clearly violated by Rajit Senaratna and the others who are responsible in solving this issue. Therefore, we have urged the, all the parliamentarians, all the honorable MPs to declare their positions and raise these issues in the parliament so that the public uh, can be, public uh, awareness can be increased and therefore the true picture of this item issue will come to the light. Let's take a look at more news after this break. Welcome back. A protest was staged by the All Ceylon Polythene Manufacturers and Recyclers Association in front of the Fort Railway Station today. 
significant traffic congestion was seen in and around the Peta area and Lotus Road was subsequently closed. The association organized this protest against the polythene ban, which will come into effect September 1st, 2017. Janadipati to Mavisin, Parisa Radikari, Tamai Janadipatu and Samaman, the Upadis Dirine, Dina Hatali Sparking, Ape Karmante, Namatan Tirne Kaladino, Mama Idana make a very degree of Maria, Capitanadipatu at a keyboard, Illa Ladino, Sakacha, Etuma, Sakacha, Api Avasta Dilane, Api then Hamma Tanamagila, Karanda Jakatiama, Tamai, Mevaka Samakami, Ugoshin at Samidan Galadine. Let's take a look at stocks after this break. Welcome back. Trading at the Colombo Stock Exchange ended on a negative note today. The all share price index dropped by 15.75 points to close the session at 6,420.53, and SP SL20 index was dropped by 7.03 points to close the session at 3,698.99. Turnover was 322.5 million rupees and 34.2 million shares were traded. Let's take a look at today's forex rates. Thank you for watching State of Business. See you tomorrow at the same time. Till then, take care. Good night.